I'm too old for this. Irving, are you all right? I've been better. But I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come. The Templars await. We shall let them know that the Tower is once again ours. All right. But please hurry. Gregor should be informed of what happened here as soon as possible. Are you ready to leave yet? We should tell the Templars about what went on here. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the Circle be housed in a tower. Irving? Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here, not you. We have won back the tower. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them, lying dormant, lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. I promised you aid, but with the Circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. For now, I will have to oversee a sweep of the tower. There may be some survivors, and we should do our best to tend to them. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. I'm glad I'm still alive, but the Circle's future still remains to be seen. Here we are, the Tower in disarray, the Circle nearly annihilated. Though it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Wynne, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then 
I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being the proper host. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. And I am thankful you arrived when you did. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? I don't know if I have the strength for another big battle. The Grey Warden saved us. Fighting the Blight is the least we can do. True. The Circle has always played a part in defeating the Blights. This is our chance to show that we will fight and die for our home, just like any other Ferelden. Do you think the Tower is ever going to get back to what it was, Wynne? I don't know. A great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding, with that cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Do you think you'll be there? To help rebuild, I mean, once this is all over with? I cannot say. Even if I survive this blight, I am a very old woman, Alistair. Why? Because of some grey hair? You are a formidable woman, Wynne. You could see that it happens. I think you overestimate the number of years I have left. But perhaps you were right. Or perhaps the memories of what happened there will be too strong for me to face. I have a hard time believing that. Well, it's good to have someone that believes in me, so... Now, if I could only feel the same way myself, that would be something. Have you ever seen an abom... Ab an abomid... abomination? Oh, come, swift sword, and deliver me that I might find the Maker again. I dread to think of what might have become of us if you hadn't come along. I think we'll be all right now, thanks to you. 
The children are already a lot calmer. I hope the demons don't come back. Well, you've rested enough. We need to get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Touching those abominations. It's wrong. Why do we have to take them across the lake to burn? The lake's right there. Right, all right. Oh, it's you. You saved the circle. I'd kiss your feet if you didn't look as though you'd kill me if I did that. You'll settle for a handshake, won't you? Maybe a kiss on the forehead, eh? <laughs> Suppose we feel the same way, then. Might not seem like much coming from me, but I appreciate what you've done for us. Got it.
right, all right. To tell me, was the Tower of Magi everything you thought it would be? Abominations running rampant, Templars ready to slaughter every mage in sight. Yes, it rather met all my expectations. You don't think you might have been better off getting your training there, instead of whatever your mother taught you? You're right. My mother didn't nearly have as many abominations running about. That certainly would have improved my education. Hmm. I'll give you that one. I'm so relieved. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. And I am thankful you arrived when you did. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. You've already done much for the Circle. Now, you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. I wish you well. Know you will always be welcome here. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive.
Just get it done. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Gregor came by, said I could have Lissy back. He seemed sad and tired. Well, I'll be here. Make her rest the souls of all, Templar and mage who gave their lives defending the circle. May they find peace at last. Isn't that the point? We could all be figments of someone else's imagination. Just players in a play. Exactly. You, I, everything. All a dream. But whose dream? And for whose amusement? Some being of cosmic power. Sublime, enlightened beings. Cosmic power? What, you're serious? They thought of all this grief, all the war. They bloody thought of boils. I got a boil the size of your nose on my big toe, and some beings are enjoying this. <laughs> Disturbed, sick bastards, if you ask me. Ahem. I still maintain they're more enlightened than that. If I ever come across one of them, I'll give them a what for. Good to see you again. Ed. Leave me alone. What are you looking at? Can a man Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Of course. What would you like? Right. How will you end it? Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Yes, 